Hi, I'm Yulia Panchenko and in today's video I'm going to do a quick review on Small Rig RC350D and after I'm done with the review I'm going to do a, a self-portrait boudoir test shoot with three uh, different lighting setups using RC350D. So let's get started! RC350D is a powerful continuous light and it's great for photographers, filmmakers and YouTubers. It is very simple to use, it has a very uh, user-friendly interface, it has only four buttons and uh, that's amazing. Just um, on and off button button it's right here it has two knobs uh, one knob is uh, to control the intensity of light uh, this button is for effects there are 10 different effects and the, the knob uh, under it is to control those effects so it pretty much controls how slow or fast you want those effects to be um, this unit comes with two ultra quiet fans, which prevents it from overheating, which is a, an absolutely amazing feature of this unit, especially if you're a filmmaker maker or a YouTuber. Uh, it comes with a bone mount, and this mount is pretty much compatible with majority of standard modifiers. Um, another cool feature of this unit is um, the light stand mount and why it is cool because if you loosen it a little bit um, it, your light your unit is not gonna fall down uh, you need to put some pressure to tilt it down or bring it back so if you um, use for example some heavy uh, modifiers uh, it will prevent from uh, unit to fall down constantly. So I think that's an amazing feature and I love it. Um, so this unit comes with this durable case and the case looks pretty cool. And in the, ca in the case you'll have um, a dish reflector. Uh, you'll have the unit itself, uh, AC adapter and a light stand mount. Now let's turn it on and see how the light works. Uh, for the purpose of you clearly see uh, how powerful the light is, we're not going to adjust uh, our cameras to this light. Uh, so some of the footages might be overexposed, but again, that's just for the purpose of you uh, seeing how the light works. Uh, so let me turn it on first. So this is the button I was talking about to turn it on. And um, let's go all the way down. So uh, you can control the intensity of light from zero to 100%. Right now it is on zero and I'm going to bring it all the way up. And I think it's on the effects right now. So let me turn off that effect. Normal, okay, so now it's on normal, there is no effects, and I'm gonna continue bringing it all the way up to 100. So now we're on 100%. I'm going to uh, bring it down to 10%, so we won't have overexposed footages. Okay, uh, somewhere here. And so this um, button is just to control, the knob is just to control the intensity of light. Um, here are, here's the effects button. So as you could see already, uh, there are different effects that this unit gives. There are 10 different effects. Uh, let me show you some of them. And I'm going to keep it on one of them. For example, this is a breathe effect. So now I'm going to um, use this knob to control how slow or fast I want this effect to be. And you can see now it's going faster. And I'm going to do it all the way down to slow. And it's slow now. So that's another pretty cool feature of um, this light. So let me, so this is flash for example. 
So this is a slow mode of the flash and this is the fastest. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, party, flame, let's get back to normal. So that's how the unit works and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's very simple, very simple interface, uh, uh, user-friendly and it's a very powerful light. Now let's move on to a fun part of this video. I'm going to change and I'll do a self-portrait boudoir shoot. Uh, we're gonna do three different lighting setups, uh, starting from harsh lighting, uh, then soft lighting and creative lighting uh, using RC350D. Uh, so let's get started. I'm starting with a harsh lighting scenario. My light is positioned on the side of my setup and myself. I'm going to be sitting on the chair in a little bit and this light, uh, the intensity of light is 100%. So I'm also using dish reflector here uh, just to narrow down the direction of my light and uh, that's it. So uh, let's, uh, let me pose and take a photo and see how it looks and I'm going to share my camera settings with you in a little bit. Uh, so here's the chair I'm going to pose on and it's going to be pretty simple. So this is the pose I'm going for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up my timer and do my first shot. That was our first shot uh, with the harsh lighting and now we're moving to our soft lighting setup. By the way, just so you could see what kind of lighting we're working with, I'm going to turn off my light uh, so you would see the ambient light. So let's turn it off. Uh, yes, it's dark. It's pretty dark outside and it's dark in the room and this light, very powerful continuous light, creates that um, uh, illuminates pretty much the entire room. So it's pretty harsh. Now I'm going to work on an image with a soft lighting setup. To create soft lighting setup, I added a modifier. This is a lantern by Small Rig. So it's pretty big, which makes the light even softer and we are on the same power it's 100 percent so you can see there is not many shadows i don't think there is any shadows maybe just a little bit and if you see any shadows they're very soft um, so uh, for the pose i'm gonna go uh, po uh, for a standing pose by the wall i'm going to bend my knee one uh, leg straight one is bent and um, moved over just to create a nice beautiful um, curve on my hip and I'm going to hold by the wall and maybe bringing the chin up so some, something like that so um, I'm gonna pose and then turn on the timer and do a quick shot Ready. All right, and we're moving to our next lighting setup. For the last lighting setup, I added a snoot with a gobo to create a window blind lines effect. Uh, for my pose, I'm going to again go with a standing pose and I'm going to do something like this uh, to make sure that my eyes are um, highlighted and there's going to be transition between highlights and shadows and uh, to create an interesting pattern on my body as well besides uh, the pattern on the, on the wall. So let me, turn, um, let me turn on the timer and do a quick shot. All right, everything is ready. So I'm gonna go back to the wall to the same position. 
And if it doesn't work, I have to do it the multiple times. All right, let's take a look. Let's do one more and we'll see which one worked. Okay, it's ready. I'm gonna move a little bit just to make sure I see the light all kind of falling on my face. Oops. All right, now let's take a look. So we're done with all the three lighting setups. Uh, sorry if uh, the images didn't turn out perfect. Obviously it was a self-portrait shoot and it was just a quick um, test. If, for those who don't know, um, who is not familiar with the snoot, this is how the snoot looks like. And this is the gobo that I was using with the snoot. That's it for this video. Make sure you check on the small rig. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.